on behalf of the province-wide Covenant Health family, we welcome you to this Blue Christmas service and invite you to rest in the peace of the season. This is close to the time of the shortest day and longest night of the year. Despite our best efforts and in spite of the music and good cheer that surround us, a deep sadness because of loss may well up within us. In our darkest moments, we may experience grief and despair as we recall memories of special people no longer with us or feel the pain of significant loss, a loss of employment, a loss of health, a loss of relationship or any other type of loss. Recognizing that this is not a season of joy for everyone, during this service you'll be invited to reflect on the pain, the loneliness, or the sorrow that you may feel, that you may have been feeling during what might seem like a long night of grief and pain. May you find hope and healing through participation in this service and comfort through knowing that you are not alone. Let's begin our time with prayer. God of love and mercy, we come before you with broken hearts and hurting spirits because of the losses that we have experienced. We ask you to be with us during this blue Christmas service and throughout this holiday season so that we might find time and space to name our losses and feel our grief and then find a way through the darkness towards the light and hope and healing. We offer this prayer in the name of the Holy One, born in Bethlehem so long ago. Amen. A reading from the book of Psalms, specifically Psalms 6 and 36, that reflects our feelings of loss and grief. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are racked. My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O Lord? How long? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction and the Lord heard me and save me from all my troubles. The angels of the Lord encompassed those who feared him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. The words of Zechariah to his son, John the Baptist, a message of hope. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, 
for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. We light four candles as a way of honoring our many losses, the loss of a loved one, the loss of health, a loss of employment, a loss of relationship, and other losses that come to mind. We light one for our grief, one for our courage, one for our memories, and one for our love. This first candle represents our grief. We own the pain of losing loved ones, of dreams that go unfulfilled, of hopes that evaporate in despair. This cow represents our courage. It symbolizes the courage to deeply feel our sorrow, to comfort one another, to share our feelings of honesty and openly, to share our hope in the midst of our pain. This candle represents our memories. As we light this candle, we remember the times we laughed together, cried together, were angry with each other, and rejoiced together. We light this candle for all the memories we shared together. This last candle represents love, the love we have given and the love we have received, the love that has gone unacknowledged and unfelt, and the love that has been shared in times of sorrow and joy.
following this service, you may want to take time to light your own candle. Let it be a time that you remember the special person who's not physically with you, but lives on in your heart and in your memories. Or let it be a time for you to reflect on a loss that you have experienced. Let us pray. Compassionate God, you know our deepest longings and sorrows. Hear our sorrow and let our cry come to you. We are broken by our loss and afraid of our future, overwhelmed by all we cannot understand. We are heavy with sadness and grief sick with despair, aching with emptiness. We ask you to be with us in the darkness, O God. We have lost our way and feel alone in our sorrow. Help us to grieve honestly and bravely, allowing our tears to fall freely. Teach us to trust you with all that we feel and for all that we need. Release us from blame towards others or ourselves. Forgive us our failures at love. Turn your heart towards us and let mercy flow. Save and restore us, good Lord, by your love. Send your life-giving spirit to renew our broken hearts. Increase our patience toward ourselves and each other. Help us let go of lost dreams. Release us from fear. Renew us in love and rekindle our hope. Save and restore us, good Lord, by your love. Renew us that we might live as your children in the strength of your love. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to view this blue Christmas service. We hope you found comfort and peace during our time together. May God continue to bless us and those we love as we find our way through this holiday season and this difficult pandemic time. Take care and God bless.